Hey everybody, Jerk here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the wireless Xbox dongle working on Linux. So to start off, you need to plug your device in. It should look like this. That's the only one that I've tested. I know that they also look like this, and these probably work because they probably have the same chipset. But best, uh, you know, best go with this one because that's the one that I own and that's the one I've tested. So once you've plugged it in, you can go to the information in the description, the link there, and it will go over how to get started. So we first need to install Git, which I already have installed. Then we need to download the source code. Source code is downloaded like so. And uh, next we can move into the Zao folder like so, and take a look at the readme file. Now the readme file is pretty important. It goes over how the how the program works, the information on what's supported, the original controller, on all of this stuff, comments, and, and so forth. So it's important that you take a look at this. And uh, you know you don't have to study it, but it will give you any information that I don't personally cover in the article or in the video. So once that's taken care of, you need to install your dependencies. I'm on Ubuntu. I've already got this installed already. But uh, what we can do is, if you're using Debian, Arch Linux, Fedora, or OpenSUSE, just copy that, paste it into the terminal, and it should work. I had to do some guesswork on OpenSUSE and Fedora, but I'm pretty sure that these are all you need. And after that, you need to make sure you're still in the Zao folder. If you exited it, you just rerun that command again, and uh, then you can build the release. And it's literally just make build equals release, like so. It will compile all of the files and code and all of that into one little thing then we can see the uh, you know we have the code here and then we just need to do you know you can take a look at if you just want to see the Zao binary which is right here you can run that but we can run the sudo make install command like so now this is going to install all of the files to the right directory and then, you know, it's uh, up to us to enable it through systemd, like so. Systemctl enable, followed by, uh, you know, followed by the start command, which will start the service right away. And uh, it's running on the system. You can run journal ctl and take a look at it. You can also just run the binary directly which I'm going to do just so that you can see the happenings and the goings on of the of the tool because it's running in the background in the system and uh, you know you don't have to use a terminal to connect my Xbox controller but I do want to show you guys that it does actually work so just for testing sake we can do dot slash zow now it's saying the dongle is plugged in the chip is it uh, you know the chip address is here and the and the dongle is initialized from here I can turn my Xbox controller on and I can press the sync button and uh, I accidentally disconnected it was already connected <laughs> yeah I, I forget I use this sometimes and it will auto disconnect but as you can see it says controller one is now connected and that's all working Xbox one controller is detected and this is completely wireless I'm not plugged in in any way and uh, this is an incredible achievement for Linux. This, you know, it might not seem like much, but I remember when this dongle came out a couple of years ago. And, you know, I'm mostly a keyboard and mouse gamer when it comes to PC, but sometimes I do need a controller and I really hate wires. So, you know, and I've had an Xbox for most of my life. So it's really nice to be able to use a new Xbox controller on my computer on Linux. It's really, really cool. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you get your dongle working, and I will see you in the next video.